Hey Gamex here. So today we got some Warwick done in Justin Smith gameplay. First, I want to go through Warwick done and his stats before we go over to Justin and give them there, and you guys can see gameplay of them. But this card, 97 speed, obviously you want that as high as possible. So you do want to theme team it out just a little bit. You go Falcons or Buccaneers. But even without that, which I ran with him, he still felt really nice, really nimble. Because you see this change of direction, 96, agility, 95. Now this is obviously on current gen, not next gen, as nobody feels nimble on next gen. Uh, but break tackle at 99. Even though he's only 187 at five foot nine, still has him falling forward and breaking through tackles that you really wouldn't see out of guys that may be bigger on current gen, but don't have that break tackle number. Whereas the next gen guys that are a little bigger, uh, weight plays more of a factor in the interactions, which actually I kind of like and I think is a feature of next gen that, uh, you know, you know the Derrick Henry spam is real there. So you need linebackers to stiff him. But let's talk about work done, okay? Overall... Uh, very similar to Barry. I don't think he's that much more nimble than him. I don't think he's significantly better than a lot of other cards that we've gotten recently, but it's nice that he's got a few other theme teams that those guys aren't going on. Obviously, Barry goes on everyone, but I'm talking about the other guys, the Kamaras. Obviously, Bo's not really like a, a comparable comp to him because Bo's bigger and falls forward um, a little bit more with the extra weight, but like overall, I was pleasantly surprised with this card. Now, is it like, you know, if you got other running backs, is it out go out and grab, you must have this guy? No, absolutely not. I think he's right there, about the same power level as the rest of the top end running backs in this game, which I don't think is a major problem. I don't mind there being a balance. Like, they come out with, like, a, a big guy and then other guys that are kind of, like, they kind of catch up to him. May I, it, it, you know, there's a lot of game design things that it would take longer than this short review of him uh, to go over that I kind of want to, you know, talk about maybe game balance and how card drops in my mind, would be ideal, but that's for another, maybe, main channel video. Anyways, work done. You see his stats. You can see him on the field. Really cool card. Um, I do like him. Uh, a nice throwback. Justin Smith. Here is the other one. And this card, this card, I, I, I really, really, really enjoy this card. Okay, so why is that? It's the speed, mainly. We've seen block shed power move in the high 90s. You know, Cameron Hayward just came out. But having a guy that can play down at defensive tackle with 92 speed really helps out a lot of man coverage because, okay, so if you're going on like a two-man under scheme, right? If you're one of those guys, like you're going to see me play, and you want to use, and you want to have a user, what you can do is man up the running back if you're afraid of angle routes and you want to roam, man up the running back with Justin Smith, okay? And so when he runs that angle route, because of the way he intercepts the guy, he actually plays the angle route pretty well. So Justin Smith, because of his versatility, because of his speed, and he can play down a D-tackle, uh, I can show you his uh, other positions on this matter. You can sub any end at D-tackle. But he does good at secondary positions, the other guys in the line. Um, allows you to kind of like, all right, you run an angle route, you're, you're dead to me. I can go roam and, and, and stop the other man-beating routes. So, overall, Justin Smith, phenomenal. Best D-lineman in the game, I think, right now. A lot of people are like, well, what about his finesse moves being low? Players, I, I would love to see testing on this. If, like, 99 power move is better than 99 finesse move or the reverse. Or if you only need one at 99 or if it's better having both at 99. I haven't seen anybody do those testing because they take, like, you know, 50... Uh, reps and you got to go like you know all line of 99 power move with like 60 finesse and then 99 finesse with 60 power move and then both 99s and see the average time to pass there it's just a lot of trials to run uh, about 150 is that i guess it's not terrible i've done more but anyways speed power move block shed 285 obviously you want it higher but it, it's not that big of a deal you know you're like oh what about strength and weight and it, it really doesn't play out like that this year in current gen next gen I don't know. There might be a little something there to it, but current gen, it's about the, the time to shed, in my opinion, because the O-line will always basically win the interaction one-on-one -on -one with you. So overall, Justin Smith, supremely versatile, and I love guys that are versatile, but enjoy the gameplay. Watch them out there, and enjoy. It's so maybe an up the take, but Jamal Adams isn't as good as Adrian Wilson. Adams doesn't jump at all. Wilson is a hawk and causes fumbles. Can't say sub -linebacker. I think they're both other spots. I'm kind of liking uh, Adams in zone and man. Um, and then I like uh, the sub linebacker being Adrian. That's what I'm running right now. Awesome! We're gonna name it the same as we name every other baby. His name in life will be Robert Paulson. Well, no. His name will be Rock and Roll, but in death, his name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. Scomo fan? Dog, are you, are you cruising for a bruising again? You've already been banned once. Jesus Christ. 
All right, you're not. Let, I'm not gonna let you back in. Jesus. I let I let him back in, and he uh, basically betrayed us once again. Trips tight and offset. Shit, I didn't get my. Look at LT, first fucking rip. Alright, let's see what you got. Alright, he's got Rogers, interestingly enough. I think I want to sub out. Wait, Abraham's faster, right? Yoink! <laughs> Did you guys see that? Like, weird. Super weird. Oh, yeah, let's do unbalanced. We'll see how he plays unbalanced. Animation that Rod Woodson. Watch him. He's going down and then, boop, back up. Watch it. Watch this anti gravity shit. In slow motion. <laughs> Real physics, boys. This is why Mass on Band is a terrible idea. Gonna end up with a bunch of scumo fans. Yeah. yeah, I hate that he's using Scumo's name and being like weird as fuck, dude. Is that his way of trying to take down Scumo's by making people that say, oh, I'm a Scumo fan into fucking weirdos? All right, I gotta get a little stickier than that. I was trying to swerve him out there at the end. All right. Ha Slam... Dive. I like dive better than slam out of this formation. Curl pose. I think he's going to be running. Try this. I got a DC lost your first game. Ouch. No! Nice fucking pick, dude. God damn it. I'm the fucking worst. Yeah, GG. Nice fucking pick. I can't believe I fucking threw that shit. I was hoping my post was going to get open across the middle, but uh, was it? I looked at it, and the guy was like right underneath my post pattern. I felt like if I threw it, maybe with a pass lead, I could have got to it. Yeah, shit, he was open. Fuck. Good lurk. Any issues with the house rules? I don't have any right now. Fuck. Can't believe I... I just sold. I sold my ass so fucking hard. I, uh... Scrum was a good dude. I think he's banned in that chat as well. Weird. Steve Smith and McLaurin. Are those... Oh, I gotta get McLaurin out of there. McLaurin's not one of my route techs. Look at Donald with the shed. Do you think Aaron Donald's uh, honor card is gonna be fucking awesome? It was Santana. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, Steve. Uh, dude just DC'd me up 42. Brutal. That's really fucking shitty. Oh! Two-man rush is going to be my fucking end, huh? I will say... I am awful... Against the two-man rush. It 
Am I? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? Is he splitting my double teams? Oh, no wonder. So, okay, I saw, I, I had two guys. Do you see how 71 does nothing? Fucking A. Alright, should we go? Uh, let's just take our fucking three. Yeah, his one man rush. Yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah. Two plays in a row, I got sacked by the two man rush. And then the one man rush, we finally got our fucking check down, dudes. <laughs> Keith, we need to run an ad. Alright, scene 60 seconds, non sub plebs. Two man rush, never get home when you have the best old lineman. Ideally not. Like so, like wh what happened there was he was on my on my left guard, and I saw two guys, and I saw my tackle outside of his outside rusher. So I rolled out the pocket a little bit, uh, and then he just he like shed the left guard, but nothing happened. Um, my my left tackle didn't do anything because the, the predetermined animation was there. The guy who DC me said thanks for the W. Really? Is there any way you can like record it and turn him in? Are you sure it was on purpose and not like uh? EA being EA, I would I would have EA look at it, right? Record it, turn it in, send it like, is the field ghoul shit still active? Oh, Adrian, is that fuck you, bitch? I love the Steelers, I play them all the time. I don't know what that means, but fuck yeah. Um, I'm going to say I'm down 42-0. Yeah, oh, definitely. That's 100% a quit situation, right? <sighs> nice fucking play. Hmm. There is something strange about Wilson. Uh, I, uh, so he's gonna do that rollout. Watch this. Oh, we need that dive, Adams. Need that, boys. I'm surprised he didn't release his tight end there. Gun bunch, tee hee hee. Uh, was praying some pressure would get home there. Didn't have it. Crypto Mercenary, I think some did. Can you smart a Texas? Uh, I've never actually tried to smart route a Texas. You might be able to. Has anybody smart route a Texas before? What does it do? Does one step need a nerf? I think it. I think it needs to go up in AP cost. I think it's it's too little right now. Whoa. I shot that gat. Who got me? Who shot me? Oh no, he's going again! I can't even watch the replay. That away, LT. Justin Smith was just shedding right then, too. Alright, we are gonna watch Strong H slot. So he's gonna do that flat route to the uh He's not. It's not strong H slot. It's strong H what? That's got that. Uh, that's got that shit. Oh my god, dude! Nice work. Third and eight's a fucking running down. Do you see how my own player got in my user's way? God damn it. So I was reading and running to the side of the ball, but the, the, the computer on my team can't read quite as quick as I can. Because uh, we're a god tier gamer. And he got in our way, boys. I hate it. Woo! 
That's wing. Yeah, it's wing. You're right, right, right. You can literally teach a 10-year-old how to set up a double leg gap, tell him one, one set to head, and bam, he's now a 10-year-old Madden goon. You're not exactly wrong there. Yeah. Uh, what do we want to do? Nice fucking, uh, nice fucking play. Damn, I went to zone, think he was gonna pass the ball there. And he ran, he ran the, uh, he ran the same fucking play. I should have realized he, he fucking was just gonna run the ball again. I, I, sometimes I, I think, I'll think myself. Guys at the goal line run the same play four times. I just, you know what? Fuck! I thought he was gonna adjust because I blew him up in the backfield. I thought he was gonna adjust, but that was thinking too much. Sometimes when you think too much in Madden, you get too adjusted, you actually end up fucking yourself. Right? That's that's a that's a big problem, Madden, sometimes, overthinking it. You just gotta kind of just expect them to do do what they did the last play. And then just take away the potential of the play. Alright, so Try this shit. Anyway, Moss. A rolling stone gathers no moss, and he is rolling perfectly fine, boys. Fuck you, cover three, bitch. Again with a stack place? What? What's wrong with my stack? Am I... Uh, is stack becoming meta? Am I running meta... meta bullshit? No. I think, like... I don't know. I haven't seen a single other player use fucking stack... In a long fucking time. So I, I ain't buying it. And one time I ran a country knew this song. And then people haven't seen Cheers. Cheers is great. Cheers is fucking phenomenal. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bygone era show, right? The weekly sitcom. It did evolve a little bit. Strong H wing again. Oh, fuck, he actually threw that. At that point, I was peeling back. I can't believe he threw that fucking drag. Dog, I straight, like, oh my god. I peeled back right before that shit happened. The fuck? Dog. Ah. Oh lord, it's a wing stack meta. Holy shit. Oh, god damn. 40 seconds left of the fucking running down. I always forget that shit. These dudes don't give a damn about nothing. <laughs> as fuck but I need six. Oh, I need I want that pick so fucking bad dude Whew. I tweeted a vid of it all right yeah can you remind me to look at that after this game gun trips tight end offset Okay, nice. Get up and get me. Get up and get me. Get up and get me. Oh, okay. Well, he touched me. All right. Woo! 30 seconds, one time out. Let's see if we can attack his shit. How the fuck do we want to attack it, boys? 
Swain, you didn't need to time out. They're just following the song. I really did not need that to bounce off our hands. Oh, dude, that was a little brutal, guys. That's our route tech, too. Fucking A. Mmm. Push! <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Darn it. So, clock, clock, clock. Thanks, guys. Thanks for telling me about the clock. Get the guys spam it down on the defense player, not throw not what 50 times. Get him. Motion, please. Uh, I'm straight up dumb as fuck. I almost want to take my fucking time out here. My, my, my field goal. Am I going to get greedy? Fuck yeah, let's get greedy. Dude, route tech is fucking off. Or sorry, route techs are fucking awful now. I can't even get a post pattern to win. Against one steps. You see how I just undercut my ass? Almost. You got greedy? But dog, how is a... Dog, you tell me. You tell me how a fucking post pattern with route tech is going to lose. Right? That should win against man coverage. Right? That's... That, uh, I know. I, nah, fuck that, dude. I am super disappointed that that wasn't a touchdown. I call the perfect play to beat him, but... My top end receiver just can't beat his top end cornerback. I guess it was greedy. Oh, oh my god, dude. Madden Mass Gamer, I'm gonna time you out for 10 minutes. Stop saying shit confidently wrong. Alright, can you guys not be confidently wrong going forward? Thank you. That's the worst. Being wrong would be like, oh, sorry, man. I, I, I think that was a safety. That was the fucking corner that picked me, you fucking nimcompoop. Thanks, Delucci. God, the, the confidently wrong are the bane of America. Smart corners, post routes, shit on one. Uh, dude. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Fuck. Hey, we're in bounds. Nice work. Uh, it was a corner who has a glowing X under him now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Woo! Make
make route text great again? Dude, if they can, like, all I want is route text to be one steps. One steps are fine, but route text need to shit on them, in my opinion. If I invest in something in a beating man coverage and it doesn't work against zone coverage, it should shit on every fucking man coverage possible. Ooh, maybe that's just a wild notion I have, but I feel like that's, uh, that's not a bad take. Too inconsistent? Yes. One step needs nerfed or outside. One step needs to be 5 AP. It needs to be absolutely fucking shit done. How's our stamina level? It's fine. Problem with inconsistency. Yes, inconsistency. Mm hmm. Inconsistency is true. Crack, dudes! What was that? They thought they had him and he said no. Nope. You thought he had me? Yep. Didn't have me, no. Nope. Wow. God damn, that was wild. Oh, all he asks is balance, yeah. Doesn't one step yeah, one step cancels out route tech right now. I don't think it should be that. Because route tech like literally, literally call zone. Just fucking call zone to get rid of my route text. It's not that hard. It's all, there's already a counter in the game for it. <sighs> Don't look super shifty. Yeah, I'm not even like shifting very well. Ooh, I think Don was a little tired there. They didn't shift as well. 3 5 blitz needs to be nerfed. Uh, 3 5 wide, where they get off the edge. Or odd, where they get around your left tackle by glitching it out. I think both of them could be hit with a, a O line awareness buff, which effectively nerfs them. Ran one week in the game with their out tech, and I took that shit off so fast. Like, I just get over catch balls better with depth, with, uh, wide, with the depth wide receiver abilities than route tech. Wait, what's depth wide receiver? Like, medium route deep route shit does it actually have better route running i thought that was just like catching traffic shit wait do they actually get separation on routes then stole cold dunner <laughs> bruce wayne with one setter you're not first you're last it's true bruce said it i think uh abraham lincoln said if it's on the internet you can't believe it um gun trips tight end offset what the fuck do you think he's running on us Shit. We're running a beater. Whoa! Sims is cracked. What was that? What the fuck? Can somebody get him? Thank you. Thank you, take. Justin was double teamed. <sighs> Running back got my uh, side blitzer. Gun doubles offset. All right. Okay, we'll take that. Think I'm done super sweating, man. So I four and Jemiah Street fight, man. Wait, people are, wait, is Jemiah Street working this year? Ian Man is never wrong. They've made a perfectly well balanced game. You will enjoy it. Oh my god. Just randomly got booted up 21 7 late in the fourth. Jesus. Yeah, EA's really, really got a rough one. Is he gonna go for it? Uh, I've been using short, medium, deep route for a while. It's great, but in the one step. Dude, short, medium, deep is kind of crazy, though. Gun, empty, hawk. So, I think this is a strange move. In my opinion. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know why you go empty there. Not a great, not a great idea at that point. Mad lads risking it all here. True. Wow. Wow. My center, my I don't know why the center double teamed that guy. He should have booted up to the second level. When that guy, that guy was super out of it. That guy, that guy was out of it more than the great Nan. I hate how that's like a giveaway for a power. Right? If the, if the, if that giveaway wasn't there, I'd love that power a little bit more. I can't really route off of it, can I? He's clap. I had to think about that one. Woo! I needed man and zone beaters right there. He's on. He's gone. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. Whew. That was a thinking man's play, boys. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Yes. I have over 300 head to head Wigan League games played on Xbox and I had a single disconnect loss. Damn, strategy, dude. That's kind of lucky, dude. I have not had near that. That's a done dot? Yeah. That really was. Oof. See, like, I don't know if you guys. So, what was going through my mind there, well, I had to take the time out because I didn't get my wheel set up. I didn't get my wheel snipe Selly. So, what I wanted was basically when, I, when I'm thinking of a goal line play, I'm thinking, and, you know, I should probably, like, you know, write this down so I'm better at it and, like, you know, hey, look back at, hey, here's a good goal line set for you. But, like, I'm looking for something, one, man beaters, right? If they run man at the goal line, any something that's going to beat that shit. So, I threw corner routes out there, which are risky because if they have man under or man with uh, purples, then those are fucked. So, then I had the in route there to beat man. I could have thrown it low. His user went to that. So, tough. He ended up going into zone. So, my man beaters were shit, but I had a zone beater. Which, if he ended up using the running back, then that was fucked. I would have both thrown the in route if he went to the running back. And that was kind of my zone beater, too. So it's like a dual man beater, zone beater combo to have multiple reads off it. And then once you have it set up, you just got to make the right read, which is oftentimes the hard part, right? Thinking up, thinking up and, and figuring out the plays beforehand and then, then executing them right after thinking them up and be like, all right, this is this, this is this. That's hard. And that's why when you're in a scheme for so long, you drill these things into your mind, so when you see certain situations, you're like, all right, if he ends up going here, I go here, because I can get to beat him with this, beat him with that, beat him with that. So that's like, why I always say it's a lot easier, and it's so it's so much easier. Once you're in a scheme for a long time, you're such a better player, because you got those reads down. And I mean, that's the skill gap, right? People can run plays, but if they don't have the reads, if they don't understand what your opponent can do against you and how you counter the counter, that's what's the big fucking deal with Madden. 